<laughs> What's up, everybody? Oh, my arm sorry. is heavy. We're sticking up thumbs. <laughs> so, and this is sound and incoming visuals. Are we live? We are Look at so that guy. Live. Look at that guy. <laughs> Look at this guy. I don't even know who's there. Who's, who is next to me? Yeah, well, the guy. DM is pointing at Tylonia. <laughs> Tylonia. Okay, Tylonia. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, Tylonia. 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 Oh, on stream. Yeah, look at these guys. <laughs> that took you a while. <laughs> that didn't go well. <laughs> look at Tylonia. Tylonia. Tylonia, okay, Tylonia, so... the one and only Tylonia. <laughs> that's, that's, that's their folk song. Or how I forgot it, the friggin' their... character banners again. That's their anthem. Tylonia, Tylonia, the one and only Tylonia. <laughs> <laughs> Magic books and red shields, we've got it all. <laughs> right, so... We were, I was approach. Uh, you know, as I'm approaching, I want to get out my red shield and kind of just kind of wear it. Cool. So. He like looks at you and he goes, oh, it's a Goliath, by the way. <laughs> just, oh, just right. Good one. Uh, he, he looks at you and he goes, this person stuck his nose in business that didn't belong where it that's not how you say it. That's not English. You, you know what I mean. Yeah. I look around. I look at. I look at the man in front of me. It's cowering. Yeah. And I and I I do a. I and I do a, a laugh and say, <laughs> "It looks like you scared the crap out of him." I listen, know. Yeah. Listen, big big guy. Uh, we're, we're drawing quite a crowd here. Um, so what? So what? They should fear the name Red Shields. They should, but if we if we end up annoying the locals in broad daylight, it's going to get back to the big man. The big man. OC check. What's the dude's name in the office? <laughs> Uriel. Uriel. I kind of look like you know. You should know that. <laughs> Uriel. He won't mind. We need to set an example. And he looks at your shield and he goes like... You're new here, aren't you? <laughs> I say jokingly, no, no shit, of course I'm new. Hmm, interesting. And he like walks up to the town guard. And he like looks at him and takes his halberd as a weapon and takes the halberd with two hands and like snaps it on the knee and then like throws one and a half back, the one with the actual halberd head on it, you know, that part throws back on, on the floor and he looks at this stick, he turns over to you and he throws it in front of your feet, yeah. <laughs> set oh, an example, show your loyalty. And he like picks up the, the the guard and he like like how do you say that like uh he kicks him in the in the the knee not not the knees in front but the knees in the back so he like okay. falls on his knees. Okay. Um I nod, pick up the stick, and give him a smile. Um now, can I use my health skill to determine where I can hit him? Hard, but that won't do much damage. You know, is there a place where I can kind of make it look authentic, but without kind of, yes, you know, you actually, can. actually hurting him? Do I need to? What should I roll for that? Your heal skill. It's actually a very creative use, but yes, yes, you can. <laughs> Pull out your healing dagger. <laughs> <laughs> Use the jab for me. Looks better and better. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know where to hit him. I thwack him. I thwack him. It's going to hurt a little bit, but it's not going yep. to do... He like, he like, ah! Oh! He like, you, you see, you don't need like an insight yeah. check to see that he like overdo it and does it. 
<laughs> and then I kind of shout at him, that I'll teach you for sticking your nose in. Oh, Is this so drawing sweet. our uh, attention at any point? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm watching. <laughs> John is one. Well, I was behind, stuck behind because I <laughs> yeah. rolled that. Yeah. Yeah, I come yeah. walking up. Now, and as I after I've hit him, I lob the stick and say, now piss off, you piss ants. What are you doing? Pick up the stick, hit him again. Uh, now it's Anna's turn to say, what's going on here? We're just teaching it. Yes, yeah. new guy. Just teaching this bloody, bloody idiot a lesson. And I say to Anna, looks like he learned it. He bloody did, with the way I hit him. And I kind of laugh. You think that's a hit? I don't care. I, I say it's an up hit. And who is you? Doesn't matter. You're making a scene. Of course I'm making a scene. Yes. Come on, I mate. Know. I kind of put in, come on, mate. We taught the piss, little piss ant a lesson. Okay, like, hopefully. That kind of... Looks at the garden, guys. Sir. Wuss. <laughs> and I laugh. Like, he, like, smacks the punches the guard in the face. And you hear a little... And he's like squirming on the ground, like, ah! And I walks to the squirming guy and says, Well, you made your point. Uh, he like looks at the guard and <laughs> on his face, and then he walks off. <laughs> and it turns to the guy on the ground. Ah, he was still squirming in pain, like, ah! Has the Goliath buggered off now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, I, I'm actually, probably Hakon's in actually a little bit of shock. He's held it, that kind of resolve for a little while, but now he's just kind of visually shaken. Hakon, heal, she says. Yeah. Um, okay. Issei, in character, says Hakon, heal. Um, do I roll a d6? Yep. Roll a d6, the end says you're gonna die. Roll a d6. Oh, there we go. Right. <laughs> yep, yeah, he's uh, fully nursed back to health. I just, I just kind of, uh, I don't even know what to say. Hakon's just kind of lost for words. And I lost the guy up. <laughs> oh, of course, he's still a bit dazed from like instant, like instant damage to the face, <laughs> instant back heal to the face. That's like, uh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he looks fine physically. Let's let's uh, go go calm you down, sir, and then you can tell us what that was about. Is there an inn near? <laughs> yes, there are many inns in this town. Yeah, the nearest. Like, I'm standing right next to one, or two no, ten steps it will, further? No, it will take you about a street. <laughs> okay, I kind of... A block, as they call it in there. I kind of tell, <laughs> tell whoever wants to follow to follow and take the guy to the inn. Uh, I put the shield back in my inventory, or whatever, and I just kind of <laughs> tag it along behind. It's, uh, since you were pretty close to the market square and, like, the business side of town, it's a pretty fancy inn. It's not like a five-star restaurant sort of thing, but it is, uh, you know, especially with the previous inns visited <laughs> in comparison. <laughs> this is quite a fancy one. And Anna turns to Hakon and says, if you want that roost to hold, you better sit away from us. I nod and, um... I don't, I, um, yeah, I go sit elsewhere. I go to the barkeep and just kind of non jovially just kind of like somber, just ask for a, a beer. Good day, sir. Good day. Good day. <laughs> a beer, you say? A beer, you say? Well, I'm at an inn, of course, a beer, I say. <laughs> a beer, well, well, might the, I, the might I change your surprised. mind and, and convince you to taste of our exotic wines. A beer is so, so common. I do a little chuckle because it reminds Harkon of home um, and goes, yeah, go on then. Ah, splendid, splendid. There is this very unique elven wine that I think a dwarf of your stature could approve. Aye, just give me the wine. <laughs> <laughs> this wine is ten silvers. Just give, yeah, ten silvers down. And he like gives you like this 
very ornate goblet. I kind of mutter, but I can't. He like <laughs> pours in the wine and then like has a small, uh, how do you say that? It's like a small bowl. It's not really a bowl, like a bowl, but like really small, like one spoon fits in it. You know, those really yeah. small ones. And he sets it aside and it's uh, filled with honey and the spoon. Now what you do is is very simple. I just take the wine and walk off. <laughs> <laughs> sir, sir, <laughs> you're not doing it correctly, sir. I see. Wretched savages, sir. <laughs> I sit at the back of the bar, away from Anna, away from the other group. I'm just, I don't, I'm not down in it. I'm just kind of taking the time, just having a sweat and stuff. And... <laughs> Barbarian. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh. Like it tastes like common red wine, but it has pepper and thyme in it. Okay. So there you go. How can enjoys it uh, slightly? <laughs> <laughs> and it's and mean. it's watered down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm buying the uh, uh, guard a uh, drink, a normal eel. That was that is. Uh, do you sh are you sure you want a normal eel? I'm pretty but sure, yeah. At the moment, he's you not... look like the kind who could appreciate a wine. It's not for me, and the and the person I'm giving it to is a bit dazed, so it would kind of waste on him at the moment. <sighs> Just a normal ale. Fine, fine. <laughs> so we'll sell that for five copper. Okay, thank you. It's not worth more. This savage drink that we have to sell to make a business. <laughs> it's like case. Pours in a it in a mug. Gives it to you. Be sure to try out one of the wines. In future, I will. And I'll walk back to the garden. And, and don't drink it like that dwarf who just walked off with half, only half the ingredients. <laughs> Very sad. <laughs> and I can't suppress a chuckle and I walk to the others. <laughs> Gives the ale to the guard. Here, come your nurse. She says. DM um, is not responding. Yeah, it's it's uh, <laughs> like, he's like looking at it and like drinking. <laughs> Anna takes a deep breath. <laughs> yeah, he, he too takes a deep breath. <laughs> We've gotten ourselves into something, guys. I can't hear, so I can't respond. <laughs> no one's responding. We all are uh, bitterly yeah. accepting our fate at the moment. <laughs> the guards are like... level two. <laughs> Galga walks yeah. over to the uh, innkeeper and orders a er, you know was ill. Yes, I've got it. Like just around. It's ten copper, sir. <laughs> One enormous ale, please. He hands him, him the copper and stocks off with the ale. Back to the group. <laughs> and there he plunges. I guess it. And I wait till the guy seems addressable again. Yeah, he seems addressable. So, so what was that about? Oh, it, it was me trying to... He looks around. He, you see him glancing over at Harkon. It's okay. We're with more. He, he, it was me trying to do stuff. Do stuff? Yes. And you see him glancing over at Harkon again. He is far away. Uh, and we are with more. Far away. Okay, I know... Because uh, of my passive insight being so bloody high, I okay. imagine I noticed, noticed him looking at me. Well, it's not a player character, so you'll have to roll for that. <laughs> oh, right, okay. No, uh, you roll for it if you were if you were looking around to see if someone was looking at you, then you roll. Oh. But if you're not looking around to see if someone was looking at you, you don't roll. And yeah, you'll notice him looking at you. Yeah, I get up. Yeah, I get up. I leave my I leave my ornate glass or wine holder on the table, and I just march out of the inn. Uh, wait, I'm waiting outside. 
I wanted to get out of his line of sight because it's making Hakon feel guilty. You, you can trust us. Uh, we we are actually here to get to the bottom of all this going on with the red shields and stuff. Well, then I wish you more luck than I had. I'm sure you can't help you with anything. I found out that the red shield were holding prisoners of high value. Aha. Uh -huh. He like <laughs> suddenly like it was like totally <laughs> silence and this two reader guy. Oh, <laughs> 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 but that's all I could find out. Unfortunately, I, <laughs> I, what's going to try and 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 get to the bottom of it? But as a normal city guard, apparently the high the red shields are in high regard, are held in high regard. Do you know the identity of these high valuable prisoners? They might be the no. same per people we are looking for. Like I said, I tried to investigate more, but I got held up and then I pissed off one too many red, gar red shields. I know how it feels. And that's where you found me. <laughs> Thanks for that, though. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, well, they did the same for me, so it's... Passing it, paying it forward, I imagine. The gods will be pleased. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad we're reliant, reliant on these people. Well, you best stay out of the trouble now, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just going back to the gate, inspecting people coming in, getting out. <laughs> that's that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Smart Way man. safer. And he like chugs down the final the last of his yell and says thank you once again and walks out. <clears throat> I guess both our handle are locked up. That's true. I already told you so. Yes. And I believed you, but everything's we kinda need a confirmation right before we dive head in head well, dive in head first with these people. I better be extra careful. You see what happens when you piss them off. They can piss us off too. Yeah, they kind of already did long ago, but <laughs> they kind of outnumber us, you know. I'm not saying that they're not doing that. <laughs> uh, well. Uh, why you guys wait for a sec? I'm going to see how Hakon is doing. I'll be right back. And he kind of walks out just to meet Hakon. <laughs> yeah, Hakon's just kind of... He's not sitting right side at the end, he's just kind of outside, you know, just kind of sitting there, like, just looking a bit miserable. Yeah. I think that if best for uh, the role play sake, kind of shortly discuss, uh, kind of go over the conversation they had, but we can role play it off screen. So yep, that we sure. can speed, uh, have the party not split up too long. Yeah. Okay. I guess she's, she's just coming with the intention to uh, get him, cheer him up, yeah. encourage him, and then take him back inside to the others. Yeah. Okay. Speed up roleplay? What is this? This is D&D. &D. <laughs> yeah, is but awesome. we keep our parties like split up so many times. <laughs> and we need to get this quest going, man. <laughs> We're almost at the end of the stream already. <laughs> yeah, we'll take another few streams to get through. <laughs> okay. But quests are not made to be completed in one stream. Go on. Quick, let's fight something. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to take more streams. The goblin fight already took two streams. Well, one stream chopped in two half streams. We could fight a child. That would. <laughs> <laughs> Unless that child turns out to be a savant sorcerer. Or an angel. Or an angel. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can dump those down well. 
Ja. Ja, het is very quick. But you piss off all the other angels, so it's kind of... Or like, get this plot twist, it could be like a normal child. It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. You would never see that coming. <laughs> yeah. I think I would actually be more surprised if it was like a normal child in this <laughs> campaign, honestly. The child dies. Like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. I would have, and then Paul goes, I would have expected explosions and everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, Paul would have. Anna kind of sits down and says, we have to think again about trusting Uriel. It seems like the red shields are behind all this after all. <clears throat> yeah, what well, the guys, out, out of character as well, it's just what the guys said, it kind of indicated that Uriel was kind of knew what was going on. Yep, and Anna says that in character. <laughs> I was just confirming before yeah, I say Yeah, that's true. Well, yeah. well Harkon could be just wrong, it doesn't matter. <laughs> he's just a dwarf. I can't see he's just human. Don't confirm yeah. it, just say shit. Say yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. Shit! I... There, I did it. <laughs> yeah. Shit. I, yeah, I think he is. Yeah, they're all very good liars. So far, for being like brawny, brawny like fighty looking mercenaries they kind of act like spy masters a lot yeah well we i don't know if any of you are good at spotting lies and she kind of works it that way because i sure know that i usually fall for traps with eyes open yeah but, me too. but if uriel is on in on it, he just lied to our face. Yeah. And um, he'll do it again. And if he's expecting us to go back, and now it seems at nightfall, and he's in on it, it sounds a little bit like a trap to me. Well, either that or he's just going to turn us away. He'll, he may spring the trap if he thinks we are onto something, though, so maybe it's smart to play dumb. Although he is our biggest source of information. We, I don't think we can threaten this guy. We have nothing on him. No. Yeah, we won't know till we find out. Well, we kind of have to go in there prepared. <laughs> I, I, I think that if it turns out that he's not going to help us, we have to play dumb and leave before he... I mean, he's not, he's not the right red shield to play our cards with. He's like the most powerful one. Yeah. Hmm. How can we? Uh, can maybe we... Hakan and I should wait outside. Just have the more temperamental of us go in. <laughs> okay. I, I don't think he appreciated me very much, and Hakan literally just. Um, tried to play red shield so maybe um maybe just the three of you guys go in and come back out as quickly as possible you may not appreciate Hakon giving himself away as one of his men since he is already um, yeah that's that's upset why I was saying, about stealing dot yeah that's why i was saying maybe Hakon and i just stay out of this one i don't think we'll have much to say anyway unless he suddenly comes forward with a lot of information which i don't expect but we need we must not give him more information either and not give him reason to arrest us or worse yeah it's agreed then yeah that sounds like a good plan. We go in, we talk about nonsense, and then we come out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Good luck, guys. Hakon says in a, a somber tone. <laughs> so, no, I, I somehow feel like we're going to lose our biggest lead, though. <laughs> 
I think I'm the biggest lead who already walked away. But I don't think we can safely get anything from Uriel, I think I'm stable. With that. It's hard. It's com complicated. Although the, the infiltration point had a bit of a... Uh... Well, I still like that idea. Hack yeah, but off. why not try it from the other side? Well, either we go full in with the URL, but you see what team they make you do hack on. And they will do that all the time. You have to do it all the time to stay on. That's control. why we need to infiltrate, get in quickly, find out what's going on, and play it smart. Yeah, but they won't trust us unless we prove ourselves. But how I about myself if... today? If I vouch for you. That won't cut it. Here it's not that easy. With my plan where I take the guise of someone that is already trusted. Yeah, but I, I, I don't get to say <laughs> how about we to move around more freely in the city and get more people to talk to us and stuff. We join the other side, the guards. Maybe they take volunteers. They're already undermanned. They are bummed out that the Red Shield are taking over the place. Oh, we and have. We, we join the good guys, basically. <laughs> you could call them good guys, yes. <laughs> and then we won't be able to in infiltrate the Red Shield, but we will have authority in the city and we'll be free to move around. And if we address citizens, they will answer our questions more like. And if we address Red Shield, they'll fight us more like. Well, they're not being very forthcoming at the moment. And at least it's a suggestion. I don't know. If we stick together as guards, that they seem to, well, they seem to pick on him on his own. If there's a more of a bigger group of us, then we might be able to kind of, you know, we'll have our own, you know, backing of the guards, rally the guards, so to speak. I'm not all for playing gatekeeper all day. I'm sure that that's... Oh, well, we don't have to stay at the gate. I mean, I think, I think that, we I think would with if the, we the were guard, guards. We can tell the guards more. It's more likely that they'll help us. You know, if if we tell them why we join, they'll help us because they are so. Well, we'll, we'll have authority from the guards, and. It's not a sound plan, but neither is the other one. I just don't think it's it's too risky to join Uriel in his own city. We, we're like right under his nose. We can't get away with half, half, half. We'll, we'll eventually end up killing people for him that don't deserve killing. I'm not, not willing to well go done. that far. We'll do it your way. Well, so, think about it. We first have to go see the guy. So well, who knows what he'll sprout. Maybe he will be cooperative and be... Truthful. Know. I'll set a trap. The only thing is that all the people... Yohani, <laughs> can you tell lies pretty well? <laughs> Uh, let me look something up before I ask. <laughs> <laughs> let me look up my lie skill. Uh... Couldn't um... she says I've never tried. Couldn't Roy disguise himself as someone else to join you guys in there? I've, you know, I'm Roby, do the lion. <laughs> <laughs> you finally bring up the fact that you're the only person that's seen me <laughs> disguise myself. What do you mean, disguise? <laughs> well, you know, his powers. What powers? Well, except what for powers? giving people headaches and being all badass. <laughs> the, whole, the whole changing thing. And I'm looking around in disbelief that no one else knows. I thought they did. <laughs> the changing? Have you had whole... too much of that wine in, in there? I don't know what you're talking 
<laughs> I mean, it's very, imp it's very impressive that he can conjure like objects out of thin air and stuff. But I, yeah. 